at the top row here at Mesa College as folks are beginning to leave the tailgate party, some at least are, in anticipation of what is the signature rivalry here in San Diego County, the Holy Bowl. St. Augustine, 5-1, taking on Cathedral Catholic, 5-1. and one. Uh, you, you know, it's not the only game going on, Bert. Not there's the 32 field. other games. Uh, down in the South Bay, there's a game Soda going Bro. on in Montgomery. You want to throw it to John? Soda Bro, take it away. All right, the Bert store. Thank you so much. We have Montgomery hosting uh, Sweetwater. Montgomery has an unusual coaching situation. Head coach, Freddie Dunkel, and DeMarco Sampson both played at Castle Park and then went on to play Dunkel at San Diego State. DeMarco Sampson in the NFL in Canada in Arena. I asked them, uh, both men, how their experiences have rubbed off on their kids. I hope it gives them the drive to know that if, uh, if us coaches did it, that they can as well, that we came from the same community as they did. And so if we had the chance to do it, then they have the same chance. And when you say same community, not exactly the wealthiest part of town, right? No, sir. The, the west side of Chula Vista is definitely not considered uh, the wealthiest part right. of town. Um, but the west side of Chula Vista has the toughest kids in Chula Vista, and the east side schools know that. Okay, all right. DeMarco, talk about the injury you had. A lot of people don't know about that, that how you recovered from it and actually got back into the NFL. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's called a Les Franck sprain, and um, really just the metatarsals in my foot, you know, they were fractured, some were broken, some were fractured. And I, it took me about a year and a half to just kind of get back into it. But, um, you know, it's just it, like Freddie said, we hope to be an inspiration for, sure. you know, for whatever they're going through because yeah. we've been through so many different right. obstacles to get to our goal. Right. That, and, Coach, talk about your South Bay legacy real quickly. Yes, sir. We have a foundation called the United Legacy Foundation. Um, we have South Bay Legacy Athletics, which runs the athletics portion of it. Um, it's basically free camps and clinics that we ha hold for anybody in San Diego, um, and we do that in the off season. And, Paul, I think you heard Coach Dunkel saying that, in his opinion, the West Coast Chula Vista players are tougher than the kids in East Chula Vista. Back to you. <laughs> Those are fighting words. I it's think Eastlake might have something to say about that. Maybe <laughs> but, but it's, I, 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 I like those guys because I, I, I would, you know, some people, you always pay lip service to giving back to the community. They actually are. And there's always guys like that who've played and can coach anywhere in the county, and they choose to give back to the community. And that's, and, what you love and about. that's why they always they rank so highly on our favorite people list. Yes. Uh, we want to have everyone check out our PPR Instagram page at KUSI PPR. This is rapidly growing in popularity. Apparently it's what all the kids do. If we, uh, if you want to make a contribution, feel free to do so. If we do use your clip on air, you win fabulous PPR gear. So uh, you got that going for you. All right, coming up in a little bit, we will have, uh, oh, just one other thing while we're talking in social media. Ha uh, have you checked out our Red Jacket Army Instagram page, at Red Jacket Army? All 32 PPR crews are constantly posting videos and pics. It's a behind-the-scenes look that you can't find anywhere else in the TV market. Uh, this is Red Jacket Naisha Harper capturing a tender mother-daughter Red Jacket moment. Naisha, well done. I look forward to your contributions in week eight. I think... One and all are impressed. All right, coming up, we'll have a, a battle of Sean's. Yes, Sean we will. Pa pa Sean Pomato, the defensive coordinator from the Saints, and Sean Poma, the stud running back from Cathedral Catholic. It's all coming up in a bit. <laughs> 